Now on this one, I've uh, designed quite a bit of dihedral into this because it's for uh, my students. And it needs to be a little bit more stable. It's going to be, in most cases, their first time flying an airplane. So I wanted quite a bit of, of uh, slippage for it in the air so that it wouldn't uh, just go to the ground. So what I'm doing here, I've got uh, my dihedral, I sanded the center now. So I've got to be able to put on the inside of this a little bit of structure between the wings. So I'm going to take just a small piece of a skewer, bought down at the store, and I'm going to locate a couple of them. The first thing I need to do is I need to decide where they're going to be. So I'm going to put myself a set of marks across there and there. That will give me a real good general idea where they're going to be located. Now the big trick is you've got to cut them so that they're relatively straight in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my wing, come in there like that. That's about where my dihedral is set. I want to come in. Now you got to be careful with these drills cutting this foam. All they'll do is hollow out. So you've got to be cautious. Go slow with them. Go in level. Take the other one. Set it up in the same spot. Same orientation with the bottom of the wing down like that. Now I'm going to have quite a bit of flexibility in there anyway, because it's just foam. Once I've got those designed into it now, I can put those about anywhere I want. So I'm going to snip myself off, run myself a test fit. Try to line it up as close as I can, and that looks relatively good. I'm off just a little bit, but I can fix that as I glue the things in place. So now I'm going to pull them back out, get my hot glue gun. Now in this instance, I uh, recognized the fact that I needed this one a little bit more forward, so the pin really needed to be a little bit more back. I'll hit it relatively fast, put the glue in there. You got to be real cautious with this because you tend to melt the foam. You give it half a chance, and that's all it's going to do is melt the foam. So I'm going to do it real quick. You can actually see that foam going, melting a little bit if you're not cautious. Because it's hot, I don't want to burn my finger. On the same hand, I need that surface somewhat smooth. Now, I'm going to let that cool before I go any further. Those are in there. They've already stabilized. They've already heated up. What I've got to do now, is I'm going to glue that, but I can't hot glue that. I've got to have it in there. If I slide it in now, you can see I'm somewhat close. Actually, uh, push it to where it needs to be. The glue's going to set up. Now, once that's set up, I'm going to glue that, but I'm not going to glue it with hot glue because all it'll tend to do is to, m to melt the foam. So, I'm going to use a different kind of glue on that foam. To glue this, I'm going to use Power Grab. I bought it to down at the hardware store. It's just simply intended for the foams. Uh, it's good. I will use it to attach several of my other parts later on with this. Um, I want it to... Now this has got a bit of time. You can work with it. You don't want to extend it very long time-wise. But if I fill that in on that power grab best I can, I'm going to put it around my pins. It'll go all the way out on it. Now when you're working with this, it's a good idea to put it on both surfaces, but you don't have to put a lot of it on the second surface. Just enough to wet that surface. Now 
I'm ready to go with that. Now because I want to have this same thing with the other, I'm going to put my hot glue in and I have to do this relatively quick. Like I said, it'll melt the foam real quick. So I'm not careful. Put both of those together. Slide it in and hold it. Now this stuff will grab relatively quickly. Now I'm going to hold it long enough that my pins will uh, solidify. As soon as they're done, before I get too far along, let me get that power grab out of there. Now, you see how I ended up having to hold that? I want to make sure that it stays tight. Well, that hot glue continues to set up. Now I'm going to hold this just like that for a few more minutes until that no longer gives when I let it up. Now, if I was at uh, my shop at home, I'd take a long wood clamp and I'd clamp it down. It doesn't take this stuff long to set up anyway. A number of other ways that I could do this if I really wanted to. Put a piece of tape around it, a few other things. But for now, I've got the time to wait, so I'll just wait for four or five minutes till it tacks up and solid. After we get done with this, then we're going to go ahead and put our fiber tape around the middle, but I do want this a little bit more tight. We'll come back to that in just a few moments.